I was inspired by the YouTuber by the name of Cosplay Chris to do this. As you've seen in the video title, this is about shoe polish and what it can do to an action figure. Now, I figured out this trick from Cosplay Chris's videos, so I'm going to give credit for this idea to him, even though he probably heard it among the tree vines. And what it is, it's pretty much you take one of those shoe polish things, you know, with the little sponge on it, you just sponge it on an action figure, you brush it around with a butt. Well, you brush it around with a bush, and then you took it with a tissue, and you dube it off. And what you get is amazing. So what we have here is the, what is it, like the super duper awesome, always released, weird, quick draw Mace Windu that I have four of. I have four of it for some reason. So I used this as a uh, template as to sort of test out my shoe polish and see how it worked. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, I didn't do too well because I was just seeing how it just did it in the first place. As you can see, really got in the crevices of the sculpt. This arm right here is not completely covered because I did wash it off. It's very easy to wash off. I put pretty much no effort into doing this besides wiping it with my thumb. Highly recommend if you want to wear down your figures and you might want to reverse it or you feel like the weathering wasn't good enough, use shoe polish. I keep wanting to say nail polish for some reason. That's for tightening joints. Shoe polish is for this. Now, the story with this is my brother, he plays Fallout 4 all the time. Fallout 4 is his life. So he bought himself the Funko Legacy Collection Fallout Power Armor figure. And I very much like it because it looks like a Stormtrooper Zaku. So naturally, I wanted it. But I didn't want to get it unless I found it. And unfortunately, his broke. So um, he got a new one and he gave me the broken one. Of course, my brother being my brother, he did fix it. But yeah, this is the default figure you get. Um, and this right here is it post shoe polish. So, as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning compared to this, which also looks very good, but it just looks so much so much more worn, so much more in the Fallout universe. I've played a little bit of Fallout 4 myself. Um, I like it, but I have not really played it too, too much. I feel like on the backpack is where you can see the most how this works. So, as you can see, there's the default backpack. There's a weathered backpack. It looks very good in my opinion. I can see how some people would say it looks a little too sloppy or not really super duper good. Um, with the power armor, number one, I feel like I put too much on because it was really my first attempt, but I still very much like how it came out. I may redo the helmet at some point. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with that. And when it comes to the other custom I've done like this, um, it's a clone trooper. I keep saying um today. I've really been trying not to say um in my videos, but I keep saying um today. I don't know why. It's been kind of a long day right now, but it's almost over, so don't worry. You're going to be good, Adam. You're going to be good. So this is right here, the out-of-focus clone trooper. The dude, this is the kind of weathered clone with some weathering. A very, very nice attempt from Hasbro to try to weather a clone trooper. Very happy with that. And that, that was kind of sarcasm. Little squiggles does not count as weathering. This is weathering. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right now. This is a clone trooper that just got up from an explosion and just walked away covered in ash. Um, as you can see, I think this came out far better than the power armor. Uh, I really tried to emphasize a little bit more darkness in the little cheek areas. It just looks really good. And it's not like I have experience or anything. Seriously, my only experience before this was just that. So, I mean, it's very, very easy to do. Like I said in my very weird lingo, what you gotta do, you gotta take the shoe polish, dab it on, and then you take a brush, kind of brush it around, make sure it's a little more even. Or you could put the brush in the polish. I've actually found that working out a little bit better. And then you just take a tissue and dab off the excess. And then, boom, there you go. It just looks fantastic. Now, I will do, probably, 
a video on camera showing this process because I want to do it to one more. I have a ton of G.I. Joe 25th Cobra Bats, and I'm very curious to see how that would work out. Uh, also, while it's on my desk, um, I'm not going to do it to this guy. But I got the R.I.D. Fracture, and it's really good. <laughs> that was kind of random. But yeah, guys, there is the shoe polish trick. Very easy to do. Very, very easy. If you like customizing, if you want to just try this out, you can. And like I showed you on Mace Windu, if you really don't like how it comes out, you can just wash it off. I mean, hey, no problem there. Uh, what I might wash it off of the clone. It just looks really cool, but I, I don't really know how I feel about having that guy in my army. I'll probably keep it, though. You know what? Screw it. I'm probably going to keep it. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed taking a look into my shoe polish. I wouldn't say abominations, but my shoe polish figures that I, th I think turned out pretty good. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Check out my Facebook page if you have a chance. Have a good day, guys. May the force be with you. Bye. Actually, I think I should shoe polish this guy. This would actually look really funny, having, like, a worn Jar Jar Binks. I've got, like, two of it. I don't know why. I'm going to do that as well. Um, the video will be the Cobra Bat, but I'm going to do it to this guy. <laughs> and I'm going to see how it turns out. So, I really like how this turned out. It's amazing. Uh, Fracture is pretty good, though. I like Fracture. He's off. Frac okay, I'm going to stop this video. I'm talking again. See you in the next video.